Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you over the head with a brand new week. And you know what I mean by that because <laughs> week one was a disaster, week two was a follow up of the disaster, week three, we bounce back. And it's victory week, but it's a short week for me, that is because I don't try to dwell on these little moral victories. I try not to dwell on them too long. Enjoy it for the first two days, and we on to Packer Week. And that is where we are. But before we move on to Packer Week, we've gotta celebrate a few things, man. We gotta celebrate a few things. Josh Allen gets his first victory as the Bills starting quarterback. Congratulations, one of potentially many. So keep that up. And speaking of my man Josh Allen, my man Josh Allen came in and graded quite well. Had a PFF grade of 76 all around. Not bad, not bad, my good man. But what's more impressive is when he's playing the action. You know what I'm saying? In play action, 10 for 15, 144 yards, a touchdown, and a passer rating of 119. Extremely encouraging. Keep that up. We need that consistency. Not all the shine is gonna go to the offense. Defense had a hell of a game. Defense is what kept us in the game. Defense is what brought us to the playoffs. Playoffs? Yes, defense is what got us to the playoffs. Defense had a hell of a game. Matt Milano, defensive player of the week for the AFC squad. Shout out to Matt Milano and Tremaine Edmonds. My man Tremaine Edmonds only missed one tackle with 10 tackles and graded at 85.8. We have some potential on this team and we must keep it up. But I can't get away from last game without mentioning Jerry Hughes and Trent Murphy. Those two combined had 22 pressures alone. Jerry Hughes at 13. That is the Jerry Hughes we want to see. That is the Jerry Hughes that we've wanted to see from two or three years ago. If Jerry can keep that up, boy, I'm telling you, man, we can have a special year. But it's only one game. Let's bring it down a little bit. Now, now that I'm done with the Vikings game, we on to the Packers. Now, what are we to expect from the Packers? Once for sure, there's some injuries. We got some injuries on our side. LaShawn McCoy is going to come back from injury. I'm hoping he gets a chance to play and torch the damn Packers. We still have Shaq Lawson. That's questionable, but he is practicing. So look for Shaq Lawson to be hitting that field and giving us a little bit of boost on the defense. Now, Trent Murphy left the game with an ankle injury. I don't expect much uh, delay from him coming into the game. He'll probably rest a little bit and we'll have a full-fledged defensive line getting after Mr. Rogers. Now, What's important on the defensive side of the Packers is Mo Wilkerson went down with a serious injury. So that leaves the middle with an open void. LaShawn McCoy, boy, if this wasn't for you, this is it. This is the sign that we get to take advantage of that Packer defense interior. Listen, that rush defense is ranked 27th in the league. They're allowing over 120 yards a game. Let's take full advantage of that. But I still got to give a shout out to the Hoggies. John Miller and Mr. Jordan Mills, they graded over 80 points in the PFF grade. That's excellent to hear. So these two boys at 86 and 82 grade, I'll take that in pass block efficiency all day, every day. Protect Josh Allen. Now, what are we looking forward to? What are we to look for? Listen, there's some key players on this damn Packers team. Now, how are we supposed to handle this Packers defense? How are we supposed to handle this Packers offense? Who are we to worry about? Let me tell you, Ty Montgomery and Mr. Jones, Aaron Jones on the Packers are no slouch. Although the statistics don't show it, those guys are good running backs. But where I worry the most is the receiving core. If we don't get after the quarterback, Mr. Rogers is going to have all day to throw the receiving court. Devontae Adams. They got this guy named Allison. You got Randall Cobb. And you have the killer, the Bills killer in Jimmy Graham. You remember Jimmy Graham? Two touchdowns over 100 yards receiving the last time we played them. Monday night, he killed us. That game we should have won, but he killed us. So we have our hands full with that receiving core. Clay Matthews on the defensive side that's going to be getting after that quarterback. It seems like he's got a bullseye on his back because the refs are after him. So... Let him bury himself and get in trouble. Defensively, they're not doing very well, the Packers. Now, the Packers' defense is highlighted by their poor rush defense. 
ranked 27th, allowing over 120 yards of rushing. This is where we get to exploit the damn Packers. Now, offensively, we've got work to do. Now, let's let's not let this victory cloud our judgment and think that we're going to the Super Bowl. We are still very poor offensively. You want to know how poor we are? Take a look at what these stats are representing. The first two games obviously are a letdown, but I mean, we are not out of the woods. 16.7 points a game that ranks us at 29th. 246 yards a game that ranks us at 31st. 147 yards passing, which ranks us at 30th. And we're rushing for just under 100 yards, which ranks us at 19th. Offensively, we ain't saying much, but last game is encouraging. As long as we hold down the fort, limit the penalties, we should be good to go. Now, speaking of penalties, here's how we're going to win this game. Number one, be disciplined. We cannot keep getting penalties. We rank, I think, in the top five of the league, 28 penalties thus far, and we're only three games in. If we eliminate the penalties, it gives us an opportunity to give us a chance to win. But we keep killing ourselves with penalties, guess what? We're going to take that L. It's that simple. Number two, the receiving crew, man. The receiving crew needs to step up. Kelvin Benjamin, Zay Jones specifically. You two have got to step your game up. Because if you want Josh Allen to have success, y'all got to do your job. Get open. Catch the ball. And get some touchdowns, man. Yak, baby. Yards after the catch. We need that. We need that. And number three, Brian Dable. <laughs> Back at it again. You need to show me that you're consistent in your play call. Right now, you got the ball out of Allen's hands last game. It was Evans. Screen plays, bubble plays, swing passes. You know what I mean? Quick slants, quick outs. That was evident. You wanted the ball out of his hands with such an aggressive defense. I need to see it again. This Packer defense is not as great, but we can't have a letdown. We need to prove that we can do this again consistently. Those are the ways we're going to win this game. But who specifically has to step up? I'm going to tell you right now. Number one, LaShawn McCoy. LaShawn McCoy, you're back from your injury, I'm hoping. Marcus Murphy and Chris Ivory gave you a break. They actually did very well in holding the fort down. Now, we need you, my friend, to torch it up and show them what Shady can do. We need the Shady ways, man. We need you in the end zone. We need you, you know what I mean, getting the crowd hyped. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need from you. So Shady McCoy, that's my number one guy that I need to step up and show out. Number two, Kelvin Benjamin. Yo. I am of the belief that you are gone next year. But in the meantime, you're still on this team. You still get paid. You need to step your game up and show us that you can, you, you can play in this league, man. You're playing yourself out of the league with the way that you comport yourself, man. Step your game up. Show you who you are. And let's go. And number three, the one guy that I think, I think if he really can do his job and really take advantage of his athletic ability, we can really turn things around offensively and that's robert foster robert foster is just inches away from making big plays man if robert foster can show up and make a name for himself and get some rapport and do what he does because he's beating these dbs he's just got to run crisper routes and catch the ball if those three individuals step their game up those three keys to victory pff, it's a breeze ladies and gentlemen that's it for the preview it's the bills Packers at Lambeau Field. We got this. Let's bring that record to two and two and try to get ourselves back in the mix in the AFC East. It's your boy. And I'm gone. Bitch, I wanna party like Chris.